G'day and welcome back to Camperland TV. Karen and I are on a motorhome road trip through southern Queensland country. In our last episode, our Jayco Conquest took us through Toowoomba and its springtime carnival of flowers to the rural outpost of Pittsworth in the heart of cattle country, where we camped for a night with friends Bridget and Damien Kerr. One of the great things about the motorhome, Karen, isn't it? It's a cabin on wheels. It is. We don't feel like a burden, do we? It's because we've brought our own portable guest room. <laughs> This magnificent cattle property sits in a fertile Darling Downs Valley, complete with historic farmhouse, lush lawns and one very unique lawnmower. As a city slicker, it's the kind of place that you dream about. It's an early start this morning with plenty to keep us occupied. Damien is loading cattle who are heading further south for greener pasture. These massive road trains are a common sight on our highways out west. And there are some rules to drive by when passing these massive beasts. And I know that you know, they can be, the roads can be very narrow. Yeah. What, what are some of the tips that you can give some of the caravanners that are dealing with these big, big trucks? The one thing that we really, really is makes it very difficult is when somebody overtakes us and then sits just in front, you know, you have a hundred odd ton there, like you can't stop quickly, you know, so, you know, if you're going to overtake them, get well ahead. Courtesy's it's... always been a big thing in the bush, Damien, isn't it? And I think if you're a courteous driver, um, these guys are pretty courteous back to you. I mean, there's yeah. been plenty of times when I've been behind a road train and they'll indicate to say it's safe to pass. Yeah. But at the same yeah. time, getting as far off the road yeah. as you can possibly get is the right thing to do because, as you say, these things are, are very big. Absolutely, mate, and I think also drive to the outside white line and uh, and give and, and you know you get into triple road trains, give them plenty of room. Those back trailers are flicking around. Give them the the single lane. Give them the single lane. Take your few minutes extra, you know, on the extra year trip or letting them roll on through. There you go. Some very very good advice from a bloke who's uh, been there, seen it all, done it all, Damien Kerr. Thanks, mate. Uh, Thanks, happy mate. trails today with this mob. We might see you down in Texas a bit later on. Absolutely, that's it. Being careful not to overstay our welcome, these guys have plenty of work to do, so we've decided to make track south to Stanthorpe. One of the great things about a southern Queensland country drive is that you can leave the main highways easily and travel through open farmlands and tiny little historic towns. The JK Conquest is made for a trip like this. Easy to drive, super comfy seats, great visibility. Everything that we could possibly need for the next few days is on board and there's a nice feeling of satisfaction and anticipation as we cruise the open roads. Stanthorpe is well known as the coolest town in Queensland and given yesterday's arctic blast, we're expecting it to be very fresh today. Stanthorpe is also known for its apples and grapes and its annual festival is definitely one to put in the calendar. There's plenty of fresh fruit and veggie roadside stalls, so pulling over and stocking up is a given. Well, this is about as far away from all these and coals as you're going to get. Land Cube is, is a bit of an institution at Applethorpe and they sell any number of fruit and veg, most of it's grown around here. And so it's we're going to pick up a few bits and pieces for the week and it'll be a lot cheaper and a lot fresher. That's the shopping done for the week. We've decided to roll into the top of the town caravan park for the night, which features cabins and caravan sites in a beautiful natural surround. It's got all your park features, including swimming pool, barbecue, camp kitchen, dump point and is wheelchair accessible. Okay, now I've been looking forward to showing you this. You've probably been wondering about where the bed is in the motorhome. Well, it's time now to take a look at its operation. It's cleverly stowed in the ceiling of the Jayco Conquest, and with the push of a button, it lowers into place just above the dinette. Voila, an inner spring, full-sized mattress, comfortable and super easy. This is a clever design which allows maximum space in the motorhome through the day. 
The JK Conquest has all of the mod cons for life on the road. Spacious kitchen, a large fridge, there's even a microwave. These days, an ensuite is a must have, and the Conquest delivers in spades here with plenty of room and a washing machine to boot. Well, I've also noticed that but it looks like only two seats. There are two jump seats here with seat belts, only two, it's only licensed to carry four passengers. But you'll see under the seat here, there are the seat belts. And so the kids will be uh, quite comfortable back here cruising with mum and dad. About 30 k's south of Stanthorpe, close to the New South Wales border, is Girraween National Park. This is granite country, and you don't have to look far to see massive boulders and the unique geology of the place. The first thing you see is you sort of round the corner and come into the main entrance of Girraween National Park is of course the pyramid itself, which is an unbelievably sparse and barren bit of rock, you know, but it is all granite. Fantastic day to walk it. So there are five easy walks that depart from here. At least they're calling them easy, I don't know if I'd call them that. Uh, the Wibiral Walk, the Granite Arch, the Bald Rock Creek Circuit, the Junction, and then there's the Pyramid, which we won't have time to do today, but I have done a couple of times down here. It's a really, really good walk if you get down here. Which one do you want to do? I want to go to Granite Arch. Granite Arch it is. Let's go. Okay, 30 minutes. You know which way? Yep. There are plenty of bushwalks to choose from, depending on your fitness level and time. One of the most challenging is the iconic pyramid. Can we suggest some good footwear and leave your fear of heights at home, given some steep and sheer granite to climb? We've opted this time for something a little less adventurous, but with just as much photo cred, the granite arch. Granite Archway, an exhausting 800 metre walk. <laughs> <laughs> From the car park, what's well, 800 out, 800, 800 back. back. Yeah, but we made it. Still don't see the arch though. <laughs> I don't know how it seems to balance there, but there are examples of this right throughout the park, including, of course, the famous balancing rock, which is up on the pyramids. But this is a, a great example of this granite country. A must-do as you depart Girraween is a stop at Heavenly Chocolate on the Pyramids Road. How are you going? Not too bad. That's good. Oh, it is heavenly, isn't it? <laughs> what did you know about making chocolate before you bought the business? Nothing. Right. Nothing. What, have, what have you learnt? Lots and lots. <laughs> <laughs> it is time consuming and there's a lot of hands on. We temper. So temper and mould is primarily. Okay. My wife's buying up a storm. I feel uh, sorry for broken chocolate, so you have to buy it. <laughs> I feel sorry for the Look. Are we going to buy all of that? All of that. Right, that's beautiful. I've all their chocolates are made on site, and the hot chocolate menu is to die for. One of the best we've ever had. It's like a 200 gram block of chocolate. It's been melted into a cup. It's really good. So you've lined up all your chocolates around you as well. I have, I do look like a chocolate monster, don't I? The only thing sweeter than heavenly chocolate has been the last couple of days on the road with my lovely wife. Southern Queensland country offers up a thousand different drives and destinations. All of them can be found on their website, along with plenty of ideas around things to do. The Jayco Conquest motorhome has been a joy. Easy to drive, will take you anywhere with a minimum of fuss, and for more information and a look around the Conquest, you can contact the team at Brisbane Camperland. See you next time.